Chess friends, do you know, I recently started my another YouTube channel, where I will give chess lessons for free, you can subscribe the channel, link in the description, i button and comment. In our today's game, I sacrificed my bishop in the number of move 2, my opponent is world champion Magnus Carlsen, who recently win Fide Rapid Championship, many congratulations to him. Let's go, I started with d4, Magnus played knight on f6, in queen's pawn opening, you can play c4, e4, e3, and e4 is a very tactical move, I will make a video about this later, so, in this position, as you know, I played bishop to h6, sacrificing a full bishop for nothing, he accepted my bishop sacrifice, it is minus 4.26 advantages for black. Knight goes to c3, Magnus here chooses to play d5, he can play c5 on his next move, well, I played queen up to d2, I want to play a long castle, that's why I eliminated my bishop, because I can beat him being down a bishop, bishop goes to g7, long castle by me, Magnus here played knight to e4, when you up a piece, it's better to exchange all the pieces your opponent have, that's why he played this move, knight takes e4, d takes e4, I played e3, okay, I can put my knight on f4 like this, f3 in the long turn, takes. Rook here, using the open file in the future, where black's structure is little sensitive, here Magnus played castle, knight comes to e2, we have c5, Magnus wants to exchange the queens, because if the queen gone, the most powerful pieces, then it will be impossible for me to defeat him, because I am down a bishop, so, I chooses to play f3, c captures d4, e captures d4, we have e takes f3, however taking the pawn is not good for you, because if it happen, the pawn position is little bad. Even you getting the open file for the rook, bishop will come, here, he can make his structure like this, it is called bishop pawn kingside structure where his bishop pair will lasering on my queen side. So, in this position, I played knight to g3, knight comes to c6, we have c3, you know what, black should not take the pawn, if he take it, then queen takes g2, knight h5 is coming to target the bishop, rook g2 will come to supporting this file. So, back to the position, we have bishop to g4, try to protect the pawn, and you cannot take it, because there is bishop takes pawn, and you are gonna lose one of the rooks, so, I play h3 patient fully, here, best move is to play bishop, back to d7, but Magnus couldn't find it, instead of that he played f takes g2, you can't take the bishop, if takes, then pawn takes rook will promote into a another queen which will be worst, so, in this position, we have queen takes g2, you can't move your bishop. Like e6 square, if it happen, then knight h5, threatening mate in 1. So, in this position, Magnus here played best move queen to a5, targeting the pawn, h takes bishop, we have queen takes a2, knight goes to f5, I want to play like this, queen here, bishop here, to target the h7 pawn. Ok, we have rook f to c8, he wants to play queen a1, king here, knight check, king here, takes, e1, queen takes. So, in this position, I played queen to e4, the bishop is coming. Bishop to f6, bishop goes to d3, king slides on f8. Bishop back to b1, I am threatening this, queen up to a4, we have rook takes h6. You might think, stockfish, we not Magnus is playing bishop to g5 check, try to win the knight, but it's not so easy, it bishop check happen, then rook up, bishop takes, knight takes, and what is this, the king position gets open, knight and queen is very close to attack. So, back to the position, Magnus played knight to a5, we have king to d2, knight c4 check, king runs to e2, rook up to c7 by Magnus, which is a blunder move, actually best move was to play e6, let me show the variation, if e6 happen, giving the bishop to white, pawn takes f5, queen takes, then queen sacrifice on d1 square, queen takes rook, king takes queen, then knight e3 check, king up, knight takes, and rook takes. It is bishop and rook versus two rooks, where white have two extra pawns, but it's minus 1.3 for black, 
game could continue like this, but here Magnus played rook to c8, instead of playing e6, we have rook takes h7, threatening this, this and this, he played e5, try to kick out the knight, well, g5, targeting the bishop, the bishop can't run away, because of rook h8, check, and the king can't go there, so it will be mate. He played knight takes b2, no problem, rook goes to h1, queen up to a6 check, bishop goes to d3, e takes f5, you can take the queen, then pawn takes queen, pawn takes bishop, well, I chooses to play g takes f6, threatening rook h8 mate, so, he takes pawn forcefully, we have rook to h8 check, if the king moves way, let me show the variation, then it will be checked by rook h7, king in g6, queen back on g2 square, queen blocks, rook on h6 check, king backs, then queen takes g5 will be checkmate. So, back to the position, Magnus Carlsen played queen takes h8. Ho ho ho, I give a bishop at the beginning of the game, now he need to sacrifice his queen to save his king, that's why not everyone can become stockfish. We have rook takes queen, king goes to g7, queen to e5 check, pawn blocks, queen takes check, king takes, bishop takes, rook goes to give a check on e8, king backs, king here, bishop here, rook goes to e1, king takes, knight check, king here, knight here, pawn takes, and pawn takes, queen check, here, queen checkmate. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more. Bye bye take care see you in my next video.